Welcome to Youth Coast Healthy Reviews today. I got another Clown Shoes beer. This is Galactica Double IPA. 8% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, just gotta say, I know I say this in every video, I really like the can art from Clown Shoes. Always really impressive can art. They got a superhero on there. She's got like a staff. The staff has uh, some some hops on the end of it. That is an awesome can art, like usual by Clown Shoes. Beer advocate. Score on beer advocate, 88 for very good style, IPA Imperial. So double IPA, oh yeah, I didn't say Galactica, double IPA. Um, ABV 8% from Clown Shoes out of Massachusetts, United States. Availability says year round. Notes, a balance of clean malt flavor and bitter hoppy notes of tropical fruit, citrus, and pine. Dry hopped with galaxy hops. I'm gonna crack this open and go over the color with you guys. Got my Lindemann's glass, let's go for the pour. Probably not gonna be able to fit this whole can in here. This is a pint can. Nice hazy orange amber color. Produce a nice head. About two fingers ahead. Doesn't look like it's going away too fast. Like I say I got a little bit left in the can. I don't want to pour too much, especially with the big head on it. You don't want it to overflow on me. Let's go for the aroma. Big tropical notes. Pineapple, mango. Guava. Some papaya. Nice sweet caramel malt. Nice biscuity, bready. A little bit of grapefruit. Nice sweetness, nice juicy, tropical aroma. A little bit of citrus, with some orange, like orange peel. Smells pretty good. Um, nice piney, hot resin on the nose. Let's go for the taste. Apparently the ice cream guy's here. Oh yeah, un unfiltered, some sediment. I can see some stuff floating around in there. Probably can't see it on camera, but I can see it. So yeah, so yeah uh, nice juicy tropical flavor. Pineapple, mango. Some uh, grapefruit on the finish. Nice bitter bite to it. Um, for a double, it's not as bitter, but it does have a nice bitter bite to it. Um, I'd like to know what the IBUs are. Um, See, so yeah, it's got a nice tropical uh, flavor up front. More tropical than citrus, but I do get some like nice lemon, orange. Nice citrusy note. Nice bready, biscuity malt on the palate as well. Sweet caramel malt. Not too sweet. Sometimes a lot of uh, double IPAs will be really sweet with that caramel malt. But this actually has a lot of juicy tropical flavor. And I'm getting more of the juicy tropical flavor and that piney hop resin, like grapefruit, um, rather than the caramel malt. But the caramel malt actually helps round out this beer, and it actually is uh, really good. I like this one. Like I said, nice sweetness, nice bitter bite. Left a nice lacing on the glass as well. Um, this is another good one. Not as, uh, it's about, it's about a percentage lower than, uh, Space Cake. Uh, my opinion, I kind of like the Space Cake a little bit more, but this one's really good too. This is a great one. I 
excuse me. Definitely some decent carbonation. I'd say like medium carbonation, medium mouthfeel. Um, for eight percent, can't taste the eight percent. This is a little dangerous. That juicy tropical uh, flavor and the sweet caramel malt does a good job hiding that ABV. Like I said, you left with a nice hop resin bitter finish. Price on these, you're gonna cost you around like 12 and change to like 13 bucks for a four pack, depending on where you find it. Um, I go to a place that actually usually has this, has this all the time, and it's around 12 and change, it's like 13 something after tax. But some places you go, they're gonna charge you around like $15 for a four pack, which is a little bit overpriced. Um, definitely a great beer, um, I think it's worth it, but. If I can get it for 12 and change somewhere else, why am I going to pay 15 for the four pack, you know? Um, but this four pack, this will have you feeling uh, feeling pretty good. Um, this is one of those beers. I could probably drink that whole four pack in one night. Um, about medium mouthfeel. Yeah, it's good. If you're a hop head, you'll really like this one. Good amount of sweetness. Like I said, good amount of hops. Nice juicy tropical flavor. Nice citrusy note. Nice bready note. This one just like hits all the right spots. Like I said, every Clown Shoes beer I've ever had, um, I haven't been disappointed with one of them. And uh, this is just another great one that they produced. Um, this is a Massachusetts beer. Um, so I'm not really sure how well the distribution is. But if you could find it in your area, and if you're a fan of double IPAs, you got to check this one out. Um, you won't be disappointed. Rating on this one, I'm going to give this one a, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, with that being said, I believe I gave the, the Space Cake like a 9 out of 10. And like I said, I like the Space Cake a little bit more than this one, but this is definitely a great beer. And I would most definitely pick another four pack up. Like I said, I'm going to recommend it to people who like double IPAs. If you haven't had this, um, if, you've, if you haven't had a double IPA by Clown Shoes, you definitely need to try one. Whether it's the Galactica or the Space Cake, I think you'll uh, be pretty impressed by both of them. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything that you'd like to see on my channel, maybe mainly double IPAs or mainly another clown shoes beer that I haven't done because I've done a lot of clown shoes beers I think this might be my ninth or tenth clown shoes beer review um but yeah if there's anything you like to see on my channel leave a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see and don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos like your beer thanks for watching cheers